The Eastern Highlands province is home to the country's honey industry. However small that might be, it was threatened by disease, but has now been resuscitated. And rural beekeepers are optimistic about the industry's future. Kevin Dayonga reports. They have maintained a close relationship with humans. The behavior of honeybees has been well researched. They are best known for their production of honey, which is stored in wax combs inside nests, live in well-organized colonies, and do not require hibernation. In Papua New Guinea, honeybees are generally active all year round, where they go in search of plants from which to collect pollen and nectar and play an important role in the agriculture sector. Bees and opium, though they are very small, very tiny insects, but only play a big part long mipla human being, lifelong mipla. Especially when you time you look along um, all uh, food and cash crops, uh, in terms of pollination, they do it. Apart from wind, uh, all, narapla, all insect stuff, I think uh, honeybees, they, they are the main pollinators of uh, food and cash crops. So, I want to good place in where you must safeguard him, you must look out him, uh, so that they are there to do the job where you and I are unable to do. But human activities, climate change and lack of funding have affected the honeybee industry in the country. But that's why you not come up. Because we have problems. And the problem with you and me is some funding. Money you got, and if I can place in high school, get help throughout the country, we can produce and we can stop import the honey. Maybe I can. And then maybe I can, you got this potential to export. Biki Pin, the Papa, and only Jimbo Tok Tok. Emino blow one blow man. Emblo or pharmacy or own him this. You know what one blow government support? Tapos government support to come inside. And by Jim Baitakov. Adding to that, a new disease, a twice damaging than the varroa mite that affected the honeybee industry in 2009, is already a threat now. The new disease causing intense damage to hives and has caused a lot of damage to the honeybee industry and caused a huge economic downturn affecting our farmers. Trapililops masedeca, the disease is only the size of a pinhead that poses a serious threat to the viability of the honeybee industry in Papua New Guinea. The mite is parasitic and feeds on the blood of adult and level honeybees. It also transmits viral and other pathogens which kill entire bee colonies. The mite is part of the syndrome leading to honeybee decline in many places around the world. But all people you know, here, time no plus any come, you know, only very excited now, only like gasp him, grasp him, kiss him, talk, make him sunny or some blow. It has been very, very good. Uh, since you may have been starting, uh, we were producing back in the 19, early 80s, we were producing up to 100, 120 tons per year, uh, 100 tons of honey. Uh, and we were able to export uh, 40 tons to West Germany. It is believed that the disease was brought in by migratory honeybees from neighboring Indonesia. A technical team comprising of government agencies such as the Department of Agriculture and Livestock, Nakia, Coffee Industry Corporation and Nari are working alongside farmers, assessing the shifting behaviors of the parasites and have already found solutions to treat these introduced pests. See, can we come already? Fair enough. Let's face it, it's a challenge. Take it on, uh, how best you can work one time, uh, how best we can control him, how best you can manage him. So, technical team now, I'm going you sit down, uh, come out one time, all tin tin where I can, I can pass on all the farmers so that this plan now, all can uh, use him, lo, try to look out him, all this law, lo, uh, Behind him, like an advice we like give him. On a higher note, John Abuka, chairman for the Bee Farmers Association, say honey production in the country is seen as a major economic activity within the agriculture sector and should be enhanced and promoted at the rural level. He says recent research has revealed that Papua New Guinea produces an estimated 40 tons annually, valued at 400,000 kina, which is consumed annually 
while pinji consumption rate is estimated at 200 tons or 2 million kina annually, which is heavily subsidized by imports, mainly from Australia. The biki pin, government even no support, but the honey is already on the shelf. And pride low me as a chairman. We can talk straight low here. We can talk in pride. You know what I'm finding? Yes, funding them is tough. And buy more workman law, advice more farmer blow me. That's good. And now come on, we talk to go downstream processing, downstream processing. When I'm happy, I'm going to work with him and put him in the Currently, Ungai Bena district in the Eastern Islands province is leading the honeybee farming and production. And interest is picking up by farmers from other provinces as well. Chairman Abuka Feda added that there are well over 1,000 farmers and the number is increasing. Interest for farmer, law, office for me, um, every day, um, 15, 20 plus months will come here. He says a Papua New Guinea can produce its own honey, having the advantage of the environment and the type of vegetation. This industry will go a long way for honeybee farmers. The farmers have embraced this business well and have benefited from this industry. Despite all the challenges from disease, effects of climate change, affecting the flowering patterns among others, farmers have taken ownership of this industry and are working on their own pace in their villages. There is money in this business venture and if more awareness and funding are put into this industry, it will go a long way for people in the rural areas says the B coordinator. Let me like to thank you all uh, Eastern Highlands Provincial Administration uh, through the um, Provincial DAL. Me play been asking, request lo one plus ten thousand kina where all you can give me pla. Lo me play can buy marasin uh, treat him all less hives lo email Eastern Highlands Province na uh, only been provide him less like ten thousand. Lo me play so I think Eastern Highlands all all get a house long Eastern Highlands with. Um, gone out to all the hives, uh, districts, and uh, treat them all together. And uh, as a result, the uh, result has been very, very positive. But for now, the industry is already becoming popular among farmers in Eastern Islands province and has extended to higher mountains and to those in the lower areas. Kevin Dayonga reporting there. After the break, we'll talk to the man they call Papa Sam, Dr. Sam Tam from the Entrepreneurial Development Training Center.